Hey guys, we're uh, Ricardo and Pedro from Moonshade. I'm the lead singer, he's the guitarist. We've been contacted by Borislav from Minor Records to give you a little video that will give you some insight about our little musical project. Questions? Yeah. <laughs> he's a guitarist. <laughs> Not very bright, uh, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, first question. So, if you'd be so kind to read it. So. Are there any particular artists that influenced you and your music? When you're supposed to read the whole thing? No. Please do. When almost everything is already tried and invented in every genre, rock and metal music, new musicians have no other choice but to experiment and combine many different influences into their own music, so they come up with something new and unique which won't get lost in the sea of similar ones. The question is, are there any particular artists that influence you and your music? Jesus. So, uh, well, me. Uh, well, <laughs> this, is, this is a tiny bit complicated. I actually got into metal very late in my adult life. I already listened to Metallica <coughs> and I guess a little bit of Slayer and Megadeth when I was in Rammstein, which was probably the first band I ever heard of. I listened to a little bit of it when I was like 12 and 13 up to 20 years old. It was a little bit of metal, a lot of hardcore and punk rock and um, mostly hardcore and punk rock and some of that actually stayed with me. Uh, I actually have a misfit shirt right about now. The shirt sucks. <laughs> says Moonshade. Go figure. Uh, okay, so second question. How would you describe your music to the people who haven't had a chance to hear it yet? So that one's yours. Yeah, this it's kind of, of difficult. So the genre is melodic death metal, so, but in terms of of you know of sound itself, um, I would say it doesn't really sound like most of the bands that are out there. I know this sounds like you know cliche, but the reality is that the, since we have a really big amount of influences in, in the band going from like you said hardcore punk in my case industrial and other other types of metal also classic rock uh, you have guys that come from jazz school you yeah, have really a lot of influence so it kind of makes the music in the end sound a little bit different because you always have small bits of everything all, all combined so yeah I would invite you guys to, to listen to, to the songs and see for yourself, but yeah. So next one's mine. Yeah, so third question. In which direction do you plan to continue with making your music? Um, I think I'll answer that one in a, a two-part way. Uh, in terms of um, logistics, we would like to take this as far as possible. Uh, the biggest stages possible without compromising our sound and our... Every band has sort of a primary directive, and most are overly complicated. Ours is very simple. Uh, we write what we like exclusively, without thinking of anything else or anyone else. If we... Uh, taking that in mind, we would like to take this, our sound, our project, as far as possible. In sonically... Speaking, in terms of uh, overall um, sound or how the band sounds, I would say it's what comes at the time. We just get together, we um, you know, share a few laughs and a few drinks, and we write music, and if we like it, it stays. If we don't like it, it goes to the trash. We don't have many long-term ideas as far as our sound should go unless you count the um, production part the, the the part of the, the production and the, the the execution the the objective is to be better every day when compared to the previous day i guess if that doesn't sound stupid if it does it's his idea he's a guitarist <laughs> So, fifth question. What was your first reaction for thoughts uh, when we invited you to take part in this compilation? So, well, the first thought was, what the hell is Warislav? 
And <laughs> and the second thought was, well, oh, he's actually a nice guy, and and it sounds really interesting the, the project because it was the first time we already had been invited for some you know compilations and special event stuff. And this was actually the first time where we actually saw that the person on the other side was actually taking it seriously as to the point of, you know, having a lot of, 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 of you know, go back and forth with us uh, during in the chat and always answering uh, to things fast and be really worried about how things would be done and, you know, offering us to see the compilation and ask. It was really nice. It was the first time we had ever really professional guy on the other side in this kind of, of, of situation. So, yeah, thumbs up for you, guy. So, after appearing on minor Halloween party compilation, your lives will change. What will this fame bring to your life? What do you think? this compilation will bring to you. Bitches. <laughs> so here you go, next next question. <clears throat> and holes. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> what would you say about your song on the compilation? What should the listener know about the song before you but before he listens to it, kind of confused. Ah, you 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 jumped the question. I did. Yeah, we you jumped because yeah, now the fourth one. Can we expect some new oh. material from you soon? What plans do you have about it? Oh, that's actually uh, uh, really that's important. actually important. So I'm glad I skipped it. So we're actually uh, wrapping up the recording process of our debut album. The name will be Sunday Throne. Yeah, and. Um, uh, it's expected to come out in early 2018, late 2017, depending on how the process, the overall process goes. There's a lot of uh, uh, logistics related <coughs> questions to attend and the album is still in uh, the recording phase and it will uh, soon uh, jump to the mixing and mastering parts of it. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're doing our own artwork uh, Pedro is producing the album. So, um, it's all on us. <laughs> together with our former bass player. And uh, our get our other guitarist, Daniel, is actually taking care of the, the artwork. It's a bit DIY. Uh, or DIY, sorry. I'm dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. dyslexic. <laughs> As he said. Um, so, and uh, it's a bit uh, small return to my punk phase. The worst part. Uh, implying that there was a good part to start, and um, th that's the whole problem with it. We can't we can't actually give out real dates or uh, real um, real or set up actual goals because we all have uh, personal lives and professional lives apart from music. None of us live ex exclusively from music or even partially from music. So um, we're taking our time. Yeah, beginning and, uh, of next year, most likely. Most likely. Early beginnings. Now I'm going to do my ER impersonation. And it's going to be awesome! Something like that. So. Uh, let's see. Let's do the rest of the things. So. Do, 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 do. Ah, the seventh question. What do you say about your, the, your song on the compilation? What should the listener know about the song before he listens to it? Uh, do you want to ship in on that because of the lyrics? Or. It's a conceptual EP, so most of the songs have a meaning in the story that's being told. So, this first song is about it's a, called Dawn of the New Era, so it's like the beginning of everything. And so, um, he's perfectly right. And uh, Dream Oblivion, where the EP where that song came from, it's actually the the second track of the EP after a short intro. The EP was basically about. Um, a person's soul searching uh, in terms of what does it mean to be alive, what does it mean to be human, about religion, about pain, about death. And uh, the ending of the, the story, 
uh, that uh, Dawn of a New Era Herald, if I may. Um, uh, it ends with suicide on the fact that the person itself cannot cope with the innate difficulties of being human. So I would say that Dawn of a New Era is the intro to all of that where he actually, it dawns on him, uh, pun intended, that humanity is inherently flawed in many ways. And the main character is angry uh, about it, is desperate, and he screams for a bit of guidance. So that's what the song is about lyrically. Musically, talk to the musician. I don't know. <laughs> Musically, uh, the song starts really fast-paced. That's that's the whole idea of the of the thing. And uh, yeah, it's fast-paced song. Lots of influences there. You have things from you know uh, more classical it. death metal, like you know from where Monomarf got their roots. Those kinds of riffs. Like things like that, and then you have really groovy parts in the middle. Yes, well, it's kind I, of what we do. I kind of get of a dark tranquility vibe there. Some actually. in some places, yeah. yeah the, lots of bands and, the, in and there. ABBA. I also love ABBA, especially where where, where I sing. Everything's ABBA. Yeah, ABBA. <clears throat> Not ABBA. ABBA. <laughs> no, you're 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 <laughs> artist. Uh, are you familiar with releases from minor records? Is there any particular band you like? To be honest, I haven't heard a lot. Still, I will do because my friend here just told me some of them are awesome. Thumbs up. So, actually, I heard uh, the snippets from the um, the compilation preview, and I was very curious. And I actually went on YouTube and listened to some of those bands. And I gotta tell you, production-wise, personal uh, taste aside. Every band sounds rather good. We're actually one of the worst in terms of production. And I'm sorry, you produced the, the Dream of Livia. <laughs> but long, uh, long time uh, ago. We're actually one of the worst. Uh, they all sound very professional, very good. Some of them have great, uh, great media outlets, out there, great photos, some good... Um, in yeah. terms of sound, there was, I noticed there was a lot of diversity. And uh, I like diversity, so I actually am intending to like Pedro said, uh, research them one by one and uh, get get a get a proper taste from it. Yeah, there are a lot of really nice bands. It may be that are not you know mainstream. And yeah. I'm discovering a lot on, on Spotify last last days, last mm -hmm. month and stuff. So, um, would you like to cooperate with Minor Records again in the future? No fucking way. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Nobody would take us. Nobody wants us. Oh, and by the way, yeah. we're releasing a new album soon, so... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, yeah. And to conclude this short interview, do you have anything to say to the audience? Uh, stay in school. Don't do drugs. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Do drugs. Mm -hmm. Or not. I like you... Possibly, possibly, in a sexual manner. Listen to Moonshade. Or we'll kidnap your cat and keep it. And have sex with it. He will have sex with it. See you guys. See you guys. Check us out. Be sure to, to be, you know, looking out for our new release. It's going to be huge. It's going to be great. It's going to be tremendous. So Spotify, Bandcamp, YouTube, Facebook, the whole drill, the whole shebang. Research us, get to know us. We're good people. Can we're we not have good a people. drink with us in Portugal? Drop by. Yeah. Who knows? Why not? Yeah, we're gonna have a drink right now. So see ya. See you soon. <laughs>